in this video i'm going to be pointing out the dumb stuff the characters in the movies do and how they could easily have survived or at, or at least made a better decisions today is going to be as the gods will it's a japanese old movie it's basically about kidnap teens trying to survive a dead game i'm saying is a dead game not because people die is because this the sign so that there has least amount of survivors as possible and in some of the games is impossible to, for everyone to survive or just one person is al- actually allowed to survive so again this is about how either aliens or god actually kidnaps teens and ma- makes them go through survival games for their life and a lot of them die so let's begin In this game, your head gets blown off the moment that big head turns around. So for the first two times that that's that, actually even I would probably die off because I would start moving and I would want to get out as soon as possible. But for the third or fourth time when it turns around, it would be obvious that whenever it turns around and looks at you, you would get blown. You would your head gets blown off if you move. So one, I would not try to escape because I don't know it's it's. A, is power potential because he basically blows my head off just by looking at me i don't know what else he's capable of so i would i would probably follow the rules and try to win or something and and escaping would be my last concern considering this is supernatural being at this point at least that's what i am convinced of anyways and two i would understand the fact that i could actually move around as soon as it turns around and is not looking at me so i would at least that my classmates or at least my class may should know the fact that they could actually sit down so that they would be res- resilient to moving around because if you're standing around your legs are not going to be holding you for long so you would probably want to sit down if you don't want to move and get your head blown off third after, i guess after some time i would get the point that i would have to press the button to es- escape or live on again i wouldn't definitely know know that it would probably kill all my f- other classmates if i do do and i would be the only one to survive but at least at uh, um, until now it would be obvious that i have to press the button because i would be staring at the back of that head for a long time and i would definitely read, read the description anyway then my second plan would be move inch by inch closer and closer up until i get there because it's pretty apparent that the head doesn't just move around on its own it actually sinks something and if you can get the timing of how fast it sinks how long the rhythm is you could probably guess how long it would take for him to turn around because if each turn he does it's actually different every turn so it's not going to be same every time he turns around so it would be beneficial for you if you calculate the speed and the length of the song then you could easily calculate how long it would take the it to turn around and you could definitely survive but then again after you survive you kill everyone else but my point being if it wasn't for the one kid lives rule everyone else could have lived if they had just sat down and thought of this rationally In this game I am surrounded by other people who have also survived just like me uh, meaning they also kill people so and some of them are wearing costumes and some of them are not so it could be inquired that it's not it's not mandatory so I will be more inclined to actually wear the costume rather than not I know it's actually bad at end but in that situation it would be beneficial for me to actually wear it considering all the the evidence but after the cat appears and after a while seeing that most people in the wearing the mouse costumes are the first to be attacked i would already guess that is because the cat actually aims for the people at the mo- people who who's wearing a mouse costume first rather than anyone else so i would definitely not tell anyone about that fact and keep it for myself considering i'm not wearing a wearing mouse costume it would be beneficial for, for, for my for myself and considering the last game that i actually literally killed everyone and i was the only one to survive this game could also go that way so it would be beneficial for me if i actually keep them on dark even though it's a common knowledge that should everyone should have 
but if they're dumb enough to not uh, see through that is bad for them so i would definitely keep to myself so that i could i would have a better chance of survival as the cat is busy following everyone else i would try to grab the ball and try to insert it but as seeing as it's impossible i would probably give it to someone who can actually throw it properly like a basketball player i would try to find someone and make them throw the ball and if he wasn't successful then i guess i would just have to get another plan and when the cat is finally slapped everyone started fighting so what i would probably do is probably kill all of them if i could and take the ball and throw it to him people are stupid and and as they said it could be a one time thing so i wouldn't get i wouldn't have anything to gain by actually going along with it i would rather considering even if i go along with it they will still fight over who, who needs to throw even if i i am relinquishing my position so it would be beneficial for me to finish them off then do it myself akemida <laughs> In this game, rather than just sitting there and doing some stupid plan that made no sense at the end, I would probably, I probably take the two exams I got and would come to a conclusion that they actually move at the same speed for both cases. So I, I wouldn't need to do any crazy calculation. I would just need to calculate the, the amount of time it takes for one of them to move one quarter of a circle and just know the initial positions of all of the dolls and also know the, all of their names and i could just do simple calculation by the amount of time it takes for them to move around me and done to to be honest it's kind of easy if you actually have sample if you have enough samples and uh, my character the main character MC, the mz actually has all the sample he needs so it should be easy but still even in this one he did some weird stuff which made no sense it's a it's an easy calculation that he could have done for this one it's not even a game it's just a search and find mission and yes got a, a, everything you need これ時間あと <laughs> So I don't think you actually have a choice in the matter. Is either you go up against him, fight him and get it for yourselves and lose the time and die. Or just deal with it and just let him in. So I don't feel like it's even a choice. They don't have a choice. The only choice do, they do have is to let him in and let them use the keys. Kokoro これからおいらが出す質問に全員正直に答えること。全員本当のことが言えたらそれで終了。でももし誰かが嘘ついたら。This game is stupid from the start. 
course the first question the first question that we are asked is what is your favorite dish no offense but even i don't know what my favorite dish is so it's very subjective and it changes every moment to be honest because it, your favorite food depends on your mood to some extent for most people so that's a very arbitrary question so anyways even if it's arbitrary it doesn't matter it's because the bear said one of you gets eliminated if you lie it didn't say anything about who lies it didn't say anything about you have to be right about who lies so the moment someone actually lied they should actually point their hands at the psycho in the group it doesn't matter if you lied or not just just look at me just look at the way he smiles it feels like he doesn't care about any of them which is true he doesn't care about any of them and he might actually have lied just to get one of them killed so even if he wasn't the culprit they should actually just water him out just so that he would die just so that he would be out of the group because it's very dangerous he killed people he kills people for fun it's not because of survival he just like killing people so it would have been beneficial for them and could have even been an opportunity for them to actually get rid of him but they didn't choose that instead they actually try to think through who would actually be the liar which is obnoxious they should have just voted for the psycho to get rid of him i'm gonna be talking about the sim- simulated situation the psycho did get voted off and they were still seen as lying in that case everyone would be suspicious of everyone because no one should have a reason to lie especially because the psycho isn't there he wouldn't be the one to lie so each of them would have a good reason to not lie considering one of them could die so it's weird and stupid that someone would actually lie about something like that so one thing you should check is whether someone among you is is one of them then again which on the other end it seems almost impossible considering they all have obnoxious forms just for that reason alone being obnoxious so then again i'll check whether if the my host is the liar itself because you cannot trust these ones considering the first second game you played they acted as if they couldn't use their arms then just use their arms at the right moment just to save themselves so you should probably question the whether he's actually telling the rules as it is or if he just playing around with them and this turns out that he was just playing around with them and he was the liar so ここがみんなで楽しく遊ぼうね。関係したなら終わり。さあ、ルールは簡単。鬼は最初、城の上にあるカーンを取りに行って、そこの指定の位置にセットする。その間に鬼以外の人は隠れる。鬼はカーンを
ってその方が面白かったでしょ<笑><笑>これはみんなへのご褒美だよ食べ終わったら出口に案内するからねうん当たったすげえラッキー見てよいつかどうした私やっぱり映画見に行けないやみなさんこれまで生き残るために知力体力想像力といろんな力を発揮してよくここまで頑張りましたでもあと一つ最後に必要なものがありますそれは It turns out that was not the actual game, and this was actually a game of luck. I'm sorry to say, to be honest, there is no way I would know what to do. Just a luck, based on luck, and luck is because basically the perception of us of what happens to us, whether to be a good thing or a bad thing, it has no substantial meaning. So it's basically a random draw. I guess you have to be lucky to win this one, and that's about the end of the movie. The players in the game were kind of dumb. For the most part, I mean, for the first and second game, okay, I could see why they would be so dumb. But for the third game, I don't, I don't see why they would actually not take the opportunity to finish off the cycle. Considering they just saw by their own eyes a lot of times, especially the MC that he kills without any restraint, and even the others who actually saw him kill one of them with his bare hands, they still don't take the opportunity to kill him off, and they don't even talk about it or even acknowledge the fact. Very psychotic and stupid, but I guess that's about it.